We have some big moves being made here on the world stage, this time between Venezuela and Russia. And as I stated before, Venezuela is key when it comes to the Americas and what is going to happen here in terms of global war here on this world stage. And I've also talked about the chaos that has been kicked up by design in the streets of Venezuela throughout the past few years or for, for quite some time. These agents of deception have been working inside the country just like they do any country that they want to bring down. They try to stir up and pay people on the ground to get into these factions that will rise up against the opposition or whoever they want out of power so they can then come in and put their chosen puppet into position. This is how it works globally. And time and time again, we have witnessed the war machine go in and topple different countries, different leaders, and install who they want. A prime example of running pretty much a whole elected office out of the country is Ukraine. And it wasn't Russia that did it. They all ran into Russia. So who did it? You already know who did it. But here on the world stage, they don't want to talk about that. You see, but that's how it works. See, in Venezuela, it is kind of a, a gatekeeper to getting further into South America. And plus, they sit on a trove of oil reserves. Russia knows this. And strategically, Russia has positioned themselves once again as being a key player, especially in throwing a lifeline now to Venezuela. Venezuela is $3.2 in outstanding obligations here. On the brink of total default, and Russia has basically just engineered a 10-year plan of loans for them, meaning that they don't have to give them any money really for the first six years. There's minimal payments over the first six years, which means Russia is expecting to get a bulk of its money six years from now, after six years from now, from Venezuela. You're talking $3.15 billion. Do you think that Russia is going to allow individuals that are in power in this country to fall or go away Owing them $3.15 billion? This is a huge move, in my opinion. Venezuela then followed suit and jumped on board with China and with Russia to trade in not the U.S. petrodollar anymore, but in the Chinese currency. The only reason I think there hasn't been bigger war breakout sooner is because there's just so many of the things going on. Our troops are spread thin across the globe, and they've dropped threats about military action in Venezuela. I'm going to say it now. You're going to see it here in, in the next few months, in the coming months, into years. It's going to roll, roll out to be chaos. And I see Russia and other allies stepping up militarily to back them and support them on their turf. Because now it's an ass. They have them right in, in the palm of their hand. There's no other details to this loan. So if they gave them $3.15 billion, you have to imagine they're making a boatload in interest Therefore, this gives them the control. The ball is in their court. And then backed with China and deals with China, you're now talking about the Russian and Chinese forces entering Venezuela in a future military situation to defend the guys they have deals with, that they want in power. You see? So... Everything that's going on with Maduro right now, 
is something to pay attention to, in my opinion. So as things change, as always, I'll continue to update. But this is something to watch here, these deals that are going on between Venezuela, Russia, China, and others, because Venezuela is key, and I really do see things heating up here sooner than later. I'll leave a link. It's Padabu 7.